Hello, my name is Jenna, and I'm going to show you around our county's web app, Sammy. Today, we are looking at the account of Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed is a fictional member of our community. He lives in Springfield, which is a fictional town in Salt Lake County. Johnny is a homeless member of our community, and we're going to show how he utilizes the features of Sammy. The profile section holds a lot of different information. It has basic info about Johnny Appleseed, his demographics, contact info, emergency contacts and disability status, as well as the people in his household. However, Johnny doesn't have any other members in his household, so the section is empty. The document section is where you're going to store digital copies of documents. This is handy, especially for people like Johnny, who don't have a safe place to keep a lot of their documents. You can upload photos, PDFs, and a variety of different file types to the document list. Uploading a document is as simple as pressing Upload Doc, filling out the required information, and selecting the file you wish to upload. When the document is on the list, you can view the file, send an email directly from SAMI that contains the file, or delete it if it is no longer relevant. Johnny recently spent some time with a case manager filling out an assessment form. Normally, this assessment would only be available through the case manager's database, making it harder than it needs to be for Johnny to access it or share it with another case manager. All Johnny would need to do to request the document is click Doc Request, type the email of the case manager he filled the assessment with, and write a brief description of the document he is requesting. The case manager will then get an email with a time-sensitive, single-use link where they can upload the document that Johnny requested. After sending the document, it will be added directly into Johnny's document list in SAMI. That way, he can easily share it to other case managers who might benefit from having that assessment, which bypasses the need for release forms since the client is the one sharing their own data. My team is where your clients will list people they need to contact on a regular basis. For instance, Johnny has his sister, his friend, and a couple case managers. Having people on your team allows you to easily send resources, documents, and messages to the people on that list. We recommend case managers have their own clients add them to their team list. My resources is where clients can look up resources in Salt Lake County. You're able to search by simply typing what you need or by selecting a service type. You can also look through a drop-down menu of every service provider we have in our system. When you select a service provider, you're able to see details about the provider and their services, contact information, and their address. If you want to save a provider, you can press Save to make it easier to access later. Another feature in SAMI that saves case managers and clients' time is document autofill. For all PDFs marked as fillable PDF, you can simply press the View icon, and your information from SAMI will automatically populate many of the fields in the document. After filling them out, they can either download the document to their device or save it to their documents list and email them to their case manager. My Housing is a tool that allows clients to easily store their housing history. Here we can see that Johnny Appleseed is currently unhoused. Previously to being unhoused, he was in prison for about nine years, and before that, he had a mobile home for a while. Adding housing only takes a couple of minutes, but can save you and other caseworkers a lot of time if they have a rich housing history already in SAMI. My Employment is where your clients will list their employment history, educational background, and be able to easily build resumes. Johnny here worked as a construction worker for a little over a year before Springfield housing developers went under during the 2008 housing crisis, and he was unemployed for some time before getting a job at the local grocer for a few years. In education, your client will be able to list their educational background. They can list their highest grade completed, whether they have a diploma or GED or neither, and they'll also list if they've graduated or obtained any certifications, licenses, or diplomas, as well as any other skills they may have. They can also list their language capabilities and TAPE scores too. And with all that information filled out, you can easily use the Resume Builder under the Resume Tools to create a resume in a matter of minutes. Johnny Appleseed has recently created one. Here's what it looks like. The My Income section allows clients to enter their monthly income and assistance income. Johnny here doesn't have any income right now since he doesn't have a job currently. He is, however, getting assistance through SNAP benefits, and his sister Jenny will send him about $300 a month if she is able to. 
After filling out the income section, your client can use the data they entered to create a budget. In the My Budget section, you can fill out housing expenses, utility costs, living expenses, transportation cost, monthly payments, and any miscellaneous expenditures too. After filling all of this out, it will show the clients how much disposable income they have along with their total expenses and total income. At the bottom, your clients can use the pay rate calculator to figure out either how many hours they need to work or the pay rate they should look for when applying for jobs. In the assessment section, they can take any of the four assessments we have in SAMI. These assessments are designed to give people an idea of what they should look to improve or to start a conversation with their case manager. My goals is where clients can list their goals. Johnny is currently looking to accomplish three goals right now. He wants to find a job, find more permanent housing, and his case manager suggested that he apply for Medicaid. So together they added that to his goals. Having these goals here in a list is a great way to direct case managers who are working with Johnny for the first time or to help Johnny focus on specific things. The case file section allows clients to create files containing the data they put into their SAMI account. For instance, if we want Johnny Appleseed's demographic information, housing history, income, and budget, we can check those boxes, change the name of the document if we'd like, and then click Save. We can now view the case file. Johnny could send this to a service provider or case manager who may need this information. A feature that is currently in the works is our opinion section. Here, SAMI users will be able to fill out surveys and see the results of the surveys. We want to do this so that people who are filling out these surveys can see what the general responses to the survey were. That way, people in our community are being shown that we listen to them and their needs. If at any time a client has a question on how to use SAMI, they can also click the help icon at the bottom of the page. Here, it will give instructions on how to use the page they are on, as well as provide contact information for the Navigator helpline in case they need additional assistance. And that's the general overview of SAMI. We're constantly adding and improving our systems to better serve the members of Salt Lake County. Thanks for watching.